Great points, Tobin. Ma, r really some good stuff there, man. And I, I like how you're talking about some young pieces like Nikola Jovic and uh, Jaime Jaquez, because that kind of segues way into segues way into what I, what I wanted to ask you. Now I know we're talking about Jimmy Butler, Donovan Mitchell, other different guys about free agency, but we got something happening before free agency, and uh, that's the NBA draft. So uh, I, I know you, you hear a lot of names out there. You got big guys like Zach Eady, Kel L. Ware, Kyle Filipowski. Um, you even got guards like uh, Devin Carter, Jared McCain, Isaiah Collier. I'm just curious, is there anybody that sparks your interest the best for this current Miami Heat team, this roster currently assembled? I'll be fully transparent with you guys. I'm not a huge like draft guru type of guy, but with the heat going, uh, you know, getting bounced, I've just started dry, you know, diving into the prospects. So I, I have been looking into Devin a little bit. Obviously that'd be really, really a cool story because of his father. He knows everything that goes into the organization, be the first Miami Dade player to ever get to, to get drafted this decade. Hasn't been once since Tim Hardaway. Um, wingspan for days, a little bit of a weird looking shot, but has been effective. His scoring went up through the roof, but I just think like, if you, if you were able to get him and that's going to be a tough question because it does seem like his stock is rising and I don't know if he'll necessarily fall to Miami. Um, that seems like a perfect type of fit just because of point of attack defense, perfect role into that point guard mode where they're going to need, they just need more there. They need, yeah. they, you know, they, they need some guy to, to, to fill that void. As, as far as the bigs are concerned, I, I would, you know, where is very intriguing shot blocker. You know, I, I definitely think that, that there's, there's elements there that you would love, but there's part of me. That's like, he ain't going to play this year though. Like I know how Spo is with his young bigs and I don't feel like he's going to give them a crack. So, I'm always going to lean I'm going to lead towards with the Miami Heat still being in the spot of they're going to try and contend. I'm going to lean towards do I think this guy is going to play anytime soon? And with Devin Carter that one just seems like it would make the most sense even though he looks like he might be out of their range and and where seems like a little bit more of a wild card like he's like all over the boards. I don't know where he's going to end up landing. And the other thing is, I, and I don't know him again. I'm just having this. What I'm reading is maybe some motor issues, maybe some like, hey, I don't know if you can get the motivation. Like, first off, if that's the case, like the heat, even if, I know they, I think they're going to have him in for a workout or have had him in for a workout. Boom. Like right away, the heat are going to be like, hey, if you're going to come in here and you're going to back up Bam out of bio for any minutes or you're going to get minutes. You have to play balls to the wall. You cannot bring in a guy who's like up and down like this. And so I don't know. I don't know if they have time for a prospect like that, um, which is where maybe somebody like Edie falls into it just because he's polished. He kind of just stays steady like this, even though maybe he's not as flashy. Um, you know, they 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 also seem like sometimes the Heat get into a trend on certain drafts where like, hey, they had success with Jaime. They kept saying he's not a typical rookie. They liked how that worked out for them this year. The, do does Adam Simon and and the and the front office do they go back to that well of oh let's go get a more polished guy let's get a twenty two year old let's get a uh, a guy who who's got a couple more years under his belt as opposed to the project like Nikola Jovic who there's you saw the leap but it still took a year basically and a half for Spo to true and injuries for Spo to truly give him an opportunity. And that even still in the playoffs was like not all the way arms wrapped around Nico being there. So if I had to guess, like based on where they're at and the coach, of course, you got to see how the draft board falls. Like guy like Devin Carter makes a lot more sense to me than some of the big projects, even though it, you could even probably argue that that's finding legitimate big backups to help this team is probably a bigger need but it's just a matter of coaching trust. 